Hi, this is Cheryl Blake from the Standard Freeholder, and here's a look at some of the stories we're working on today. Green Party leader Elizabeth May stopped in Cornwall this morning uh, during her whistle stop tour. She uh, chatted for a few minutes and greeted uh, local candidate Wyatt Walsh. Um, so, the story on that. And we also chatted with Wyatt and the rest of the candidates for the federal election about um, the possibility of a coalition government and also the issue of contempt of parliament, which is what failed the government, and how that's playing in the campaign so far. Um, also in politics, uh, we have a preview to uh, the nomination for the Progressive Conservative candidate, which is happening tomorrow. Um, we also have a story on election expenses from the last muni municipal election. Um, we have a report on that, and we also have an update on the biopower plant that's scheduled to be built in South Stormont. Uh, that township's council met with company officials this week. Um, we also have a story on uh, funding that was announced today, uh, more than $400,000 for a pre-apprenticeship program at the Operating Engineers Training Institute of Ontario, which is in Morrisburg. Uh, in sports, we have a feature on Alex Juno, who is an up-and-comer trampolinist. He's heading off to provincial and national competitions. Um, we'll also have coverage of the Colts game. They're playing game three of the series in Pembroke tonight, um, so make sure to check our website for results from that game. Also in tomorrow's paper, we have the regular columns, Handyman Hints, WordWise, and Coffee Break. Um, so make sure to pick up a paper and also check our website. If you're looking for more coverage, we also have a Twitter page, a Facebook page, and a YouTube channel. So make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.